The winter break is officially over and the spring season is upon us as Seton Hall women's tennis gets ready to start up their 2020 slate with matches against Binghamton on Saturday and Georgetown this Sunday. Now it is a team with a lot of experience. There's four returning seniors from last season, but that doesn't mean it won't come with some challenges. Coach Kevin McGlynn told me that there's no doubles pairings remaining from last season, so it's something that Seton Hall is going to have to work on during practice and find out what are the right players that play well with each other for the doubles game. Now, I also spoke with Mikey Matson, another senior on this team, and she said that while that's definitely a challenge that they're going to have to figure out, she's really excited about this season in general. She mentioned how close-knit of a team it is, and she's ready to get things started. So the main thing we've been focusing on at the moment is just fitness and being able to get the ball in and, and start competing. So we know where we stand this first opening weekend and kind of get a gauge of where we're at and then build from there. Right now with us in practice is establishing our doubles teams you know it's not uh, necessarily there is no partnership really that's coming back from last year so we're kind of fresh uh, in all our partnerships and just getting those guys comfortable playing with each other and uh, you know learning strengths and weaknesses between the two players is huge so uh, I think that's kind of the focus that we've had in practice and hopefully that's going to pay off when we start playing. It ends up being super important because you are playing six singles and it ends up always being the tiebreaker because a lot of the time you're putting your best player at one and they're playing their best player at one and et cetera all the way to six. So all the matches end up being really close net and doubles ends up being the decider most of the time. You can take a look at our record last year. A lot of our wins ended up being 4-3 and the result was just because of the doubles in it. It is overlooked and it's only 20 minutes at the start of the match, but it is probably the most important three matches of the whole entire day. And while we won't know until this weekend who those new doubles partners will be, there's certainly no question on how close these teammates are. The seniors are always there to help the underclassmen adjust, and it's a team that's been able to bond from sharing their cultures. It's actually crazy how many uh, languages I think this team can speak in total. I can only speak one, which is a bit embarrassing for our team. But yeah, it it ends up, we end up connecting through the game of tennis, which is absolutely incredible. You, you know, there is a language barrier, but... You know, when you get that clean hit and hit a good shot, everyone's cheering for you, and we know how hard it is to be on the court on your own all the time and end up talking some stuff to yourself. So it ends up being like a connection, and you end up supporting each other really quickly. Um, they do. We do spend a lot of time together. You know, the fact that we practice off campus, so we're driving to practice, you know, every day. So additional hour, you know, half hour essentially each way in the van. Um, so, you know, essentially they all get along pretty well together. Um, you know, living together, they're, they're together as well, some of them. So I think it's a pretty uh, together group. Especially collegiate sports, you can never prepare your freshmen for everything that's going to come ahead. But the main thing we've been telling them is to just keep your head in the game, work, um, work as hard as you can, and kind of just always put your best foot forward. Right now, uh, we're going to rely on our seniors, but we're also trying to just get healthy a bit. So Mel, who's one of our seniors, strongest player, has been sidelined with some shoulder issues. So working through that a bit. But, um, you know, we're relying on everybody. I mean, the seniors are important to us, but getting the freshmen into the lineup and getting them comfortable is, in my mind, equally as important. Now for the Pirates, it's going to be about maintaining their focus for this weekend's matches. It's a long and grueling season with over 20 matches over the next two and a half months, so Seton Hall's going to have to take it on a day-by-day -day basis. For Binghamton especially, it's just kind of perfecting that deep and neutral ball and making sure that we're able to control the point from the get-go, especially off the return of serve. And for Georgetown, obviously, we just want to give them a run for their money and make sure we start off Big East Conference play with a win. Um, the important thing is transitioning to competition again. You know, it's been a while since we've played, um, you know, the gap between fall and spring. But, you know, hopefully, you know, within practice, we're simulating that, you know, playing against each other. Not always, you know, uh, easy to compete against each other, but it's, you know, what you have to do, and, and hopefully everybody will be comfortable. There will be nerves, but hopefully everybody can get through that this weekend. Obviously we're looking for connections and who fits with who and which game style complements the other. I can't say for certain who's playing with who or who I connect with the most. It will definitely be a surprise for Saturday, but whoever we end up playing with, I'm sure it will be a good combo. 
So those new doubles pairings will be unveiled this weekend. As a reminder, Seton Hall faces off against Binghamton on Saturday and Georgetown on Sunday. So for all your Seton Hall tennis scoring updates, news, schedules, and information, make sure to head to shupirates.com. And as always, let's go Pirates.